Good evening and welcome once again to evening prayer or Vespers. And as you can see, we are in the hall, not in the church. But the church is virtually ready and we are about to move up there in the next few hours. Um, but we will have a, a, a follow-on evening prayer from this will be from here. It's a sort of an intimate area and uh, it rather... Um, it fits more snugly to evening prayer, I think. Evening prayer especially um, in, on this occasion, which is said simply um, here on my own. And uh, you and many of you are probably on their own as well, your own as well. Uh, but it doesn't matter, although it's a, an office meant to be said in company with everybody else. Um, so many priests um, say the office is on their own because of their circumstances. It's only the religious in communities that come together in any numbers to celebrate together. But we are celebrating together over the live stream, and that's the important thing, that we offer our prayer to God. First of all, we praise him, of course, for his great goodness, his mercy, and for our very existence. And we also take this opportunity of asking, or putting petitions to him uh, for his people. Uh, we have had those sent in on the, the email and on the telephone. And although it's been a little bit uh, haphazard today, I think we've gathered all the uh, prayers together. Um, thank you for bearing with us over these times when we have to move from place to different places. And we are so reliant on the connections, uh, the Wi-Fi, and all the microphones are plugged in and things like that. Um, but we've managed to get through. We sometimes uh, fly, as they say, by the seat of our pants. Um, most of the time, it's successful. But we are together to pray to the Lord at this time in the evening, 6 o'clock, when the world begins to slow down, although the roads don't. There's the rush hour, evening rush hour carrying on outside of this church now. But here, we can take a few minutes to stop and think and to pray to the Lord, and also to listen to the Lord through his word, through those ancient words of the psalmist, a thousand or more years before Jesus was born. So as usual, we commence with the Angelus. For this I'm rather, I realize I have my back to the uh, statue of our Blessed Lady, so I will go to the Ford store. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glories of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Universalis and uh, the breviary coincide again in this ordinary time. The hymn will be blessed are the pure in heart. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see our God. The secret of the Lord is theirs. Their soul is Christ's abode. The Lord who left the heavens, our life and peace to bring, to, work, to dwell in lowliness with men, their pattern and their king. Still to the lowly soul he doth himself impart, and for his dwelling and his throne chooseth the pure in heart. Lord, we thy presence seek. May ours this blessing be. Give us a pure and lowly heart, a temple fit for thee. I will make you the light of the nations to bring my salvation to the ends of the earth. O oh God, you give your judgment to the king to a king's son your justice, that he may judge your people in justice and your poor in right judgment. May the mountains bring forth peace for the people and the hills justice. May he defend the poor of the people and save the children of the needy and crush the oppressor. He shall endure like the sun and the moon from age to age. He shall descend like rain on the meadow like raindrops on the earth. In his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. He shall rule from sea to sea, from the great river to earth's bounds. Before him his enemies shall fall, his foes lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and sea coast shall pay him tribute. The kings of Sheba and Saba shall bring him gifts. Before him all kings shall fall prostrate, all nations shall serve him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I will make you the light of the nations, to bring my salvation to the ends of the earth. The Lord will save the poor from oppression. He will rescue their lives. For he shall save the poor when they cry and the needy who are helpless. He will have pity on the weak and save the lives of the poor. From oppression he will rescue their lives. To him their blood is dear. Long may he live. May the gold of Sheba be given him. They shall pray for him without ceasing and bless him all the day. May corn be abundant in the land, to the peaks of the mountains. May its fruit rustle like Lebanon. May men flourish in the cities like grass on the earth. May his name be blessed forever and endure like the sun. Every tribe shall be blessed in him. All nations bless his name. Blessed be the Lord, God of Israel, who alone works wonders. Ever bless his glorious name. Let his glory fill the earth. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord will save the poor from oppression. He will rescue their lives. Victory and empire have now been won by our God. We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, who are and who were, that you have taken your great power and begun to reign. The nations raged, but your wrath came, and the time for the dead to be judged, for rewarding your servants, the prophets and saints, and those who fear your name, both small and great. Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brethren has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. And they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. For they love not their lives even unto death. Rejoice then, O heaven, and you that dwell therein. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Victory and empire have now been won by our God. have been obedient to the truth and purified your souls until you can love like brothers in sincerity. Let your love for each other be real and from a pure heart. Your new birth was not from any mortal seed, but from the everlasting word of the living and eternal God. Is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. We repeat, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord has sustained and filled with good things those who hungered for justice. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth, all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich empty away. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy of promise to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord has satisfied and filled with good things those who hungered for justice. Let us lift up our hearts in thankfulness to God our Father who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual gift. Lord, bless your people. Father, look on the Pope, our bishops and all Christian leaders. Sustain their faith, their love and their courage. Lord, bless your people. Almighty God, we pray for our country. May it promote justice and brotherhood in the world. Lord, bless your people. We pray for all who live the Christian life. Father, look on them with kindness and see in them the face of your beloved Son. Lord, bless your people. Remember those who have consecrated themselves to serve you in the religious life. Enrich them in their poverty. Love them in their chastity. Lighten their hearts in obedience to you. Lord, bless your people. Give rest to those who have died in Christ. For with you there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Lord, bless your people. Vow a 
has asked us to offer a prayer of thanksgiving for prayers that have been answered. Mary has asked us to pray for Brian, who is in end-of-life care. We also pray for his wife, Joan, for strength. Another of our parishioners is in hospital at this time, Margaret. We pray for her recovery. We also pray for Monique in hospital under observation and treatment. We pray for our young people as they prepare to go back to school. We pray for the teachers and those who assist and all who make the schools possible. We pray for our own communities here in this parish of Guildford, for the communities of St. Pius, St. Mary, St. Edward, and St. Joseph. We pray for all those who've worked so hard to refurbish our church for its 40th anniversary this weekend, for all those who have helped, advised, and contributed towards the expense, an expense which is yet to be fully covered. We pray that those contributions will be forthcoming to the glory of God and the permanence of his church here. And we pray for all those who have departed, particularly our own loved ones. We offer them up to God for his mercy, that he grants them everlasting life. And we look forward to the time when we will be meeting with them again. We pray also for vocations to the sacred ministry of priest. We ask that the Lord will open the hearts of many young men and older men too to offer the, the, their lives in service to his people. particularly for vocations throughout the Catholic Church, but particularly in our own diocese of Arundel and Brighton. Lord Jesus, grant to our diocese the gift of priests, filled with zeal for your word and with dedication in the service of your people, that your church may be nourished through the sacraments and strengthened for the mission to which you have called us. For you are Lord forever and ever. We now sum up all our prayers in that great prayer that our Lord Jesus gave us himself. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We beseech you, we beseech your mercy, Lord, as we offer you this evening praise. Keep our hearts always engaged in meditating on your law and grant us the light and reward of eternal life. We ask this through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. for being with me this evening. You're in your company, I'm aware of, um, through our technicals. You just have to look at your iPhone, your phone, your smartphone, and it tells the number of connections. That's only a rough estimate, of course. 
but we do know that you are with us. And we're with you as well, particularly those who are lonely, who haven't been visited. And uh, we feel at one with you, and we hope you gain comfort at that. And with all the other people that join us on this live stream. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And as we go as usual, we will attempt to sing the evening anthem to our blessed Lady. Salve Regina, Mata Misericordiae, Vita Dolcedo, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamus, exules filie ever, a te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Ea ego, advocata nostra, illos tuos misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Et Jesum, benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis, Post hoc exilium ostende, O clemens, O pia, O dulcis, Virgo Maria. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ.